I'm very pleased to uh, bring on a, a writer, a TV host, uh, producer of the uh, Building Bridges uh, program, Eileen Kokelman, who's uh, joining us here again on the Ringside program. Uh, Eileen, welcome back. Uh, how are you? I am fine. Thank you very much, Jeff. How are you? Very good. Uh, well, it's it's, uh, it's great to have you back on the show. Uh, thanks so Thank much you. for being with us. Uh, so, um, how are things in uh, Turkey? Things are great, Turkey. We are uh, focusing on Egypt and Syria right now, and uh, we are worried about our brothers and sisters there. Let's start with um, the situation in Syria. We've been seeing a lot of uh, news reports about chemical attacks, uh, that yes. there, there could be a lot of victims of uh, uh, biological and chemical weapons. Uh, are these uh, attacks launched by the rebels or by the government? Uh, who's doing this? Actually, we don't know yet, but we know that Assad is a dictator, so it's very possible that he made this. Uh, but as you know, it's nothing different from the Halabja, Halabja massacre in 1988. And at that time, the Western countries were silent and they were not, uh, they, they have nothing to do again. And still, they have nothing to do uh, right now. Uh, the problem. Yes, the chemical weapons have been used, uh, but the problem uh, has been going on uh, for three years in Syria. Red line in Syria crossed long ago, several times. It's a tragedy. A tragedy. It's really a big, great tragedy right now. Uh, are and, people uh, are are people fleeing Syria? Uh, civilians are trying to get out of uh, this civil war. I've heard that we've had tens of thousands killed during the civil war. Yes, and we are hosting, Turkey is hosting uh, more than 400,000 people. And uh, as far as I know, uh, after this chemical attack, the, uh, the uh, people will, co will, always, uh, will continue to come to Turkey again. But as, uh, as you know, the, the main point is Buta there. The Buta is a district of Damascus, as you know, and this is a very crucial district. It's the border of Lebanon, as you know, and it's the point of conflict between Hezbollah and some of the radical groups from the rebel, re, rebels, uh, the Free Syrian Army, uh, we can say. Uh, Assad escalated bombings, this certain point for some time already, and so chemical weapons after that is not surprising at all. In my opinion, uh, are there Al Qaeda elements among the uh, rebels? Uh, do you have uh, terrorist groups that are that are working with the rebels and uh, trying to overthrow Assad's regime? Of course, uh, there are so many radical groups uh, within the rebels. This is the problem of Syria right now. If we come, uh, if we get rid of Assad right now, then there is a problem of the radical groups here. So we need to stick with the uh, with the uh, main solution here. I guess, in my opinion, Russia is the key country uh, if we talk about Syria. And uh, Russia will never want to lose its most pressure ally in the region. And that's why Putin is trying to protect Assad. Uh, and he do not want, uh, does not want to lose its supporter, that does not want to lose its military bases in Syria. And also does not want Syria to become American ally. Uh, but in fact, Putin is maybe the most reasonable leader that's, that Russia has seen so far. So we need to take this advantage, in my opinion. Uh, here, Turkey cannot do anything by itself, but an alliance is needed uh, in the Middle East. And the best alliance that Turkey might be in in the Middle East is Turkey-Israel alliance, in my opinion. If Turkey and Israel come together as friends, and there is a great power in the Middle East, and I wish Egypt would also be, the, uh, be in that alliance, but right now it seems impossible. Uh, if such an alliance uh, can be achieved, then uh, they can give a guarantee to Russia, uh, and, they, and after that they can make a coalition to, uh, to rule Syria. And that coalition uh, uh, may get rid of the radical elements in Syria. And that would be a great solution. All right. Uh, 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 Alan, in, in, in a few minutes, we'll open up our phone lines and uh, let people uh, ask you questions, make comments. Uh, we're, built, we're joined by one of the producers and hosts of the uh, Building Bridges program. Uh, it's based in Istanbul, Turkey. Uh, Alan is uh, an advocate for uh, peaceful uh, Islam and building bridges with people of other faiths um, and uh, I've been very impressed with her work. Uh, 
I also Thank wanted to you. get get your your view on what's going on in Egypt, uh, where we've been seeing uh, just uh, mass protests with the Muslim Brotherhood, uh, the Egyptian military taking over. Uh, do you think uh, there can be a peaceful resolution there, or do you think the military crackdown is going to continue? Uh, of course, there, will, there, sh there have to be a solution, uh, but uh, in order to get a solution, a concrete solution, Muslim Brotherhood made a, uh, ha has, to, has to make a great reform within itself because Muslim Brotherhood very powerful uh, voice of uh, Egypt right now. Even if they are not in the, uh, they will not be in politics in the upcoming days. They will uh, be there as a majority and ideal ideology. Uh, that's why. Uh, Muslim Brotherhood uh, need to change. They need to uh, embrace the real essence of Islam, which uh, which give them the opportunity to embrace all humanity. Uh, they, they need to show that they embrace uh, Christians, Jews, even the atheists, Buddhists, communists. They need to uh, show that they, uh, they are giving importance to uh, women because uh, societies who are giving importance to women are always, uh, always prospering and they also need to give importance to art, science uh, and music. Mm -hmm. uh, they need to uh, show that they are they are embracing the modernity and the modern face of Islam. This is very important. Alan, otherwise, uh, tell us yeah. um, what about the uh, burning of Christian churches? Uh, the Coptic Christians have been uh, looks like targeted. Are, is the Muslim Brotherhood doing that? Muslim Brotherhood denied this. Uh, there was an uh, official announcement uh, on their uh, page. Uh, I don't know. Of course, there are some radical voices in everywhere. There are extremists uh, everywhere. So uh, we know that within radicals, there are people who are against Christians and Jews. This is the main problem of the radicalism right now. So uh, we cannot say who, but this is, uh, of course, being used against Muslim Brotherhood widely. Uh, let's take some calls. I'll end 504 556 9696 888 to join us. Uh, very pleased to have with us one of the hosts and producers of the Building Bridges program from Istanbul. Let's go to uh, James and Metairie. Hey, James, uh, welcome. Well, Jeff, good morning to you. And hello to your guest from, from Istanbul. Uh, Thank you. I'm deeply concerned about what has been apparently happening over the past few years in Turkey, and that is the resurgence of creationism in Turkish universities. Uh, creationism is not science. Creationism is religion, it's faith, it's mythology. And one of the reasons why everything I've read, Turkey has been able to advance relative to its neighbors in the region is because of its approach, rational approach to science and not uh, uh, non-science, such as creationism. Uh, it, it's, it's very distressing to hear about that. And, you know, Christian conservatives are allies, along with the Muslim Brotherhood. Both of these groups believe staunchly in the, the falsehood of creationism. Uh, that's disturbing on itself. I just wanted to get your guest opinion on that, Jeff. And All I'll right. Listen off the air. All right. That's James and Metairie. Uh, Eileen, uh, your response? Yes, yes creationism is uh, getting very effective in uh, Turkey because uh, especially our works uh, have been very effective in Turkey throughout Turkey and also throughout the world because we are against evolution because uh, evolution is has no uh, scientific uh, proof this is a great truth and we uh, we gave the evidence of uh, every uh, the, we, we gave the evidences of creationism in every step. We made uh, a lot of works. We uh, gave the proofs in a wide scale so people could understand that there's no scientific basis of evolution. That's why pe people convinced very uh, easily in Turkey. That's why they embrace creationism. Uh, evolution is a very great threat and a very great, very big scourge uh, throughout the world because it gives the idea of the racism. It also gives the idea of fascism and communism. And that's why uh, people are rebelling each other. People do not like each other, hate, uh, and all kinds of uh, rebellions are sourced from the uh, from the mindset of Darwinism. That's why it's a very dangerous ideology throughout the world. That's why we are fighting against it. Uh, 
Eileen, yeah. in, in our final minute or so here, uh, last time uh, I, I talked to uh, folks in that region, there were some conflicts in Turkey, there were some protests, and uh, it was yes. pretty violent. Have things stabilized in Turkey? Right now, it seems very stabilized, but we don't know. They uh, people think uh, people say that the fall season will be very hot, but they uh, we don't know what they mean. But I think uh, the communist groups uh, have been left right now. Uh, this is a great threat for Turkey, and uh, I don't know the Gezi Park protests are not available on the streets right now. Just communist groups. Well, uh, I hope uh, you continue to have, uh, you know, peace in uh, Turkey. I hope we can see some sort of progress in uh, both Egypt and uh, Syria. We'll be watching closely. Uh, Alin, uh, love to do this again uh, soon. Thanks so much for uh, being with us. Uh, that's the uh, producer and host of the Building Bridges uh, program, Alin Kokoman, and uh, joining us from uh, the beautiful city of Istanbul, Turkey. So, Alin, thanks for uh, being with us.